Well, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome. Nice to have you here being punctual. Thank you for your patience and waiting. We are about to begin here in about one minute at eight o'clock sharp. Okay, so okay. be attentive. I'm gonna wait for some more people to join and then we will begin. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me see the attendance. Okay, welcome, welcome. It's already eight o'clock sharp. And thank you for for being here today. Maybe we can get some more people connected. Remember that the class starts at eight o'clock p.m. and it ends at 10 p.m. And you get the extra 10 minutes for individual sessions for each and every one of you. So I'm glad to see some of you here already. Two, four, six. Okay, I know it's the first day of class, but I know you're enthusiastic to be here, right? And we will begin in the progress of your English language, right? The acquisition and progressing the English language. And here shortly, I'm going to take the attendance. We are going to see the introduction module number three we are intermediate three as you can see in the background right and i'm going to introduce myself here shortly and it's a pleasure to have you here tonight okay it's already thursday i know today's thursday tomorrow's friday then you have the weekend right yesterday was a holiday it was a national holiday but i'm glad i'm glad that you are taking the time to actually learn and grow in the English language. Okay, class, let me let me uh, show you, I'm going to show you a little bit of PowerPoint presentation, introduction about the module and what we expect to do during this five weeks. But the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to remember that I take, I will take three attendance three attendances throughout the session. And you must say present or presente if you want to say it in Spanish, you, you can do that also. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to share with you basic introduction about the rules and, and the discipline of this class. And I'm also going to introduce myself. Okay, let me share screen real quick. And then afterwards, you're going to tell me something about yourself. Okay. Let's see. Good evening. Hi, hello, Jacqueline. Is that you? <clears throat> Let me see, okay, we have the... Uh, the first thing I'm going to do before we look at this is I'm going to see who are the ones that are punctual, right? Vamos a ver quiénes son los puntuales de las clases. So voy a tomar asistencia, okay? I'm going to take the attendance. When I call your name, I want you to say present, okay? Let me see. 
I have my other computer here with the attendance. Okay. Abigail Guadalupe Perez Sevilla. Good evening, present. Present, okay, thank you. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Okay, no answer. Remember, if you do not respond, voy a poner como que no respondió. I'm going to put that you didn't respond. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Okay, let me stop right here. All right, thank you. Brenda Erlinda Sainz Villatoro. Brenda Erlinda Sainz Villatoro. Okay, no answer. Carlos Jose Velasquez Zacapa. Hello, coach. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. Okay, no answer. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Here. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Flor Idalma Ramirez Calderon. I'm here. Good evening. Hi, thank you, Flor. Welcome. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. I like your background. <laughs> the moon. All right, nice. All right. Freddy Vladimir Cortez Lopez. Freddy Vladimir Cortez Lopez. Okay, no answer. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Okay, no answer. Iris Beatriz Herrer Herrera Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sanchez. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sanchez. Okay, no answer. Juan Jose Avalos Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Angel Centeno. Miguel Angel Centeno. Okay, no answer. Roberto Fabio Ayala Romero. Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. I don't understand that one. Okay, no answer. And finally, Jessica Yanara Cortez Diaz. Okay, no answer. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay. Okay, we're going to begin. And let me see. I'm going to share screen real quick again. Let me see. Okay. Okay, class, welcome to, to your English Intermediate Module 3. This is English for Work Program, English para el Trabajo, right? And my name is Henry Federico Parras Perez. I am your facilitator, okay? I send my name to the group, to the WhatsApp group, and you will find my name there. I am your facilitator. So in case they ask you, uh, for example, anything that has to do with INSOFOR or Inglés Corporativo, 
we are called facilitators, ¿ok? So no lo van a decir quién es su coach, quién es su, van a decir quién es su facilitador, your facilitator. That would be me, ¿ok? That would be me. And this is my name right here at the bottom, in case you want to write it down, in case you have to do a survey or a questionnaire, you have my full name here, ¿ok? Por cualquier documentación, you have my name here, you can write it down in case someone asks you in administration, okay? And that, let's continue with the second slide, okay? Si no lo tienen, you can write it. You can write it down because they might ask you, uh, in the future, they might ask you, okay, who who is your facilitator? Usted va a decir, oh, no sé, right? I don't know. I'd be like, what? <laughs> no, no way, right? So here's my name, okay? Write it, porque créame que you will need it. Lo va a necesitar en algún punto de, de esta clase. Sooner or later, you, you will need it. Okay, now let's... Everyone got the name? Yes? We're good with the name? You write it? Yes, facilitator. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is... I'm going to share a little bit about myself. Okay. As you can see, it's in Spanish here. Lo, lo que sigue va a estar prácticamente en español para que quede toda la información bien clara. Okay. Eh, esta es mi formación académica. Okay. Licenciatura en idioma inglés. Eh, tengo mi certificación. Otros eh, lo pueden decir acreditación TOEFL. Eh, certificación TOEIC. Okay. Eh, estoy acreditado por INSAFOR. Nivel básico, intermedio y avanzado, los tres niveles. Y también tengo lo que es la, la parte didáctica de, un, de una capacitación por INSAFOR, didáctica para la planificación y facilitación del idioma inglés. Tengo estudios eh, de Estados Unidos también, tengo un técnico en administración de empresas de los Estados Unidos y un técnico en humanidades, also in the United States. Okay, eh, también he participado con las Fuerzas Armadas de Estados Unidos en proyectos de aquí de El Salvador, ya sea de proyectos de salud o capacitaciones. También he participado en, en eso eh, como traductor, eh, eh, prácticamente en la Unión right? y aquí en Morazán. Let me see. My ex, mi experiencia laboral, soy un facilitator en inglés corporativo, prácticamente aquí. Y también doy clases privadas en inglés. Right? Soy un, pueden decirlo como hasta domicilio, right? I also teach that during the pandemic, right? Durante esta pandemia, el año pasado, no. Así, en, ese, en, ese, en esas vueltas también, a domicilio. I'm also, I worked at, um, as a teacher eh, aquí en el Colegio Bilingüe Academia Europea. And as a language arts teacher in English, eh, también en matemáticas, en uh, spelling, reading, writing, and language arts, and reading. I've also worked at the European Academy as a teacher for adults and children. Okay, this is my name. If you want my name short, Henry Parras. Okay, you can, uh, you can just call me teacher. Ok, me pueden decir teacher, right? a la hora de escribirlo o algo administrativo, ahí sí van a utilizar la palabra facilitador. But you can just call me teacher Henry, ok, teacher Henry or Mr. Henry, ok, así es más fácil. Remember that <coughs> esta palabra de licenciatura, bueno, no se usa ni en Estados Unidos, right, only here. So you can just call me teacher Henry, ok, and... Continuemos. Eso es eh, mi presentación para ustedes sobre mí y los requerimientos. Ok, aquí vamos a, les espero que, les pido que por favor pongan atención eh, sobre los requerimientos establecidos. Ha habido unos pequeños cambios, quizás algunos no tan drastic, right? Eh, en el grupo puso... Uh, Elena puso ahí en la área administrativa eh, algunos de los requerimientos que lo vamos a volver a ver ahorita. Eh, en el grupo lo mandaron los, uh, 
remember algunas instrucciones, right, en el área administrativa. Eh, requerimientos. Can you read, please, uh, Roberto? Ayala, can you read the requirements, los requerimientos, por favor? Ok. Eh, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Ok, very good. So, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Ok. Hace unos minutos, no sé, algunos que están en el laptop pudieron ver que entró la área administrativa de la clase. No sé si pudieron ver algunos. Roberto, ¿usted pudo ver eso? Sí, por un momento apareció con, con el logo de, de sí, corporativo. Sí, exactly, right. So remember que ellos van a estar o ellas va, pueden entrar en cualquier momento, incluso los eh, administradores de Insafor también. Ok, pueden entrar en cualquier momento y nomás observan si de verdad usted está cumpliendo los requerimientos de cumplir, de poner su nombre completo, así como lo tiene Roberto, como lo tiene Juan José y varios aquí, right? Eh, algunos veo que nomás tienen un nombre y un apellido, right? Eso es ya si lo pueden ir corrigiendo, right? Carlos Velázquez, si usted puede poner su nombre completo, por favor. Eh, lo más, uh, esto, eso sería el primer requerimiento, right? Lo mandaron también a, a decir en el grupo. Yeah, y, can I do okay. it after the class? Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm just giving you the observation. No problem. Okay. Let me see. Eh, en caso de oyentes, aquí no hay, así que no se preocupen por esto. De oyentes, continue, Roberto. With the third one. Yes, please. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Ok, very good. Este es otro requerimiento, right? De, recuerden que ustedes aceptaron los, los, los requerimientos del momento de inscribirse y esto es un requerimiento establecido eh, por Insafor también, en lo cual deben de tener las cámaras encendidas, right? Encendidas. Eh, si ustedes eh, veo aquí algunos que no la tienen encendida, yo tomaré nota, ok? de sus nombres que durante la semana si lo tuvieron encendida una vez o dos veces por la clase yo hago uh, yo haría esa notificación ok cámara encendida durante toda la sesión All right. continue please roberto minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible thank you very good aquí pues minimizar right si tiene música o algo then you know at least minimize it to where it doesn't interrupt the rest of the classmates or the class, right? Que no interrumpa en la sesión de la clase o con los compañeros. Okay? Continue, please. And participación activa. Very good. Right? Participación activa. Uh, active participation, okay? Active participation. I expect, okay, as your teacher, for you to participate in class, okay? Es part of the requirement, right? Recuerde que es progreso suyo también de participar y seguir aprendiendo el idioma inglés. Ok. Any questions on this? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esto? Ok. Any questions? Sobre estos puntitos nomás. Any questions? No? Ok, great. All right. Let me see. Let's continue. Okay, now, here are some more in relation to asistencia, right? La asistencia. Let's get another participant. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you for participating. Carlos Velasquez. Hello, Carlos. Can you read, please, the first two here? Yeah. Um, asistencia 100% de las clases. La asistencia no solamente se, to se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con la clase completa. Very good. Excellent. Right? Eh, remember, the assistance has to be 100% to the classes. Y la asistencia no solamente es cuando yo eh, ya hice la primera asistencia, right? No, no es nomás cuando lo llame, sino que tienen que estar activos en la clase, o sea, conectados. Eh, porque 
desde el momento que usted se conecta, usted ya queda registrado a la hora que entró. Electrónicamente queda, queda notificado en la plataforma que usted entró a tal hora y a tal hora salió. Por ejemplo, si entró ahorita y dice, ah, voy a estar unos 20 minutos y se sale, eso queda registrado. Ok, se los digo antemano, eso queda registrado y al final le puede perjudicar para el siguiente módulo. Ok, so, espero no lleguemos a, a eso. Ok, let's see, continue please. Um, Juan, José, Avalos, can you read the next two, please? La asistencia to se toma en tres ocasiones, eh, 8, 9 y 9.55 pm. Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o presente y tener cámara encendida. Ok, it should be present here, right? Ok. Ok, so, <clears throat> ya hice la primera asistencia, right? Eh, Estoy viendo aquí que han entrado unos algo tardes, pero lastimosamente ya hice la primera asistencia para ver quiénes entraron a la clase a la hora que, que se les uh, había pedido, que era a las 8. Right? So remember, I do one at 8, at 9, and 9.55, and um, tomaré válido al, al escuchar presente o present, right? y tener la cámara encendida. Right? So I have to see, hay que ver, verificar de que realmente está allí y no está viendo como televisión o está en otro lado y nomás está, uh, como le diga, eh, presente en la clase, pero sin, sin que de verdad esté allí, right? So it's also important because I have to, for example, if I do an activity, si hacemos una actividad y, y no veo que está conectado o conectada, pero al momento de hacer la actividad, no la está realizando porque quizás está haciendo otra cosa. Entonces no se puede ver si realmente está en clase o no. Yes, Freddy, do you have a question? Yeah, my question is that when you already take the attendance and like me right now, it's just loading like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 minutes late. So this hour doesn't count for me. Oh, it counts. It counts, but it shows that you were late to class. Oh, okay. 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 So it will show that eh, esos 15 minutos ya los perdió Freddy. All prácticamente. Right. Okay. Y eso se le acumula al final. Al final tiene que tener un porcentaje de minutos. Okay. So si usted dice, bueno, voy a entrar 15 minutos hoy, mañana 15 minutos, está, esos 15 minutos los va perdiendo y no los puede recuperar. Oh, okay. Entonces, al final, si no llega a, un, a una meta que Insafor establece de de conectividad, no asistencia como cuando lo oye, son las dos, de conectividad, entonces pueda que no se le dé la beca para el siguiente módulo. And when the participant has the camera off, that means it's like he's not, he's not on, on class or how do you take it? Okay, if the person, por ejemplo, if the person like doesn't have the camera on, right? Por ejemplo, aquí tengo a Jarvin, Isaac, uh, Blanca, Stephanie, Jessica, Yanara, right? So, at the moment that I take the attendance, el momento que yo tomo la asistencia y no tienen la cámara encendida, lo voy a tomar, eh, lo voy a tomar nota. I will take a note of that. Y así, ahorita les voy a explicar lo que, lo que está incluido en este módulo también. Ok, Freddy, voy a tocar ese tema. Eh, después que veamos esto, porque eh, les voy a hablar sobre un reporte que yo tengo que realizar de cada uno de ustedes, ¿ok? Y ahí va incluido si usted no participa, si usted no, no tiene la cámara encendida, o nomás la encendió como por dos minutos y nunca la encendió, yo hago notificación para que quede registrado en su, por en su eh, a la parte de su nombre como registro, ¿ok? Pero vamos a tocar ese tema ahorita cuando terminemos esto. I will show you some more rules. Ok, Freddy. But thank you for asking. Ok, let me see. Ok, Freddy, now that you're here, can you read the next part, please? Yeah, sure. Secciones 1 a 1 disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar duda con su fa facilitación. Facilis, la, la, la. 
A ver. Así. Oh, all right, no problem. <risa> Entonces, <risa> permisos right. disponibles. Ok, permiso no disponible, right? Ok, so remember at the end of the class, al final de la clase, usted, cada uno de ustedes va a tener una sesión uno a uno with me para solventar cualquier duda or any doubts that you might have or just practice, right? If you want to say, teacher, I would like to practice this or that and then you have 10 minutes with me one on one, ok? Uno a uno, pero es cuando se termina la clase. Ok, eh, por ejemplo, hoy, right? Hoy empezaría, hoy es primera clase, hoy empezamos los 10 minutos y la primera persona que tengo aquí es Abigail Guadalupe Pérez. Usted se quedaría después de la clase los 10 minutos y mañana viernes sería Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Ok, y así les voy a dar los nombres cada eh, por semana. Okay, so el Monday, I will give you the list. Quien sé que queda el Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. Okay, and the other part here is permisos no disponibles. ¿Qué quiere decir aquí? Um, for example, if you cannot come to class, right? Si usted dice, teacher, fíjate que no puedo, no puedo estar en clase hoy. O teacher, fíjese que voy en camino. Teacher, fíjese que esto. Fíjese, teacher, fíjese. Right. Whatever, whatever you have, whatever issue or whatever problem, right, you may have at the time of class, I, te lo voy a decir en español para que quede bien claro, yo no tengo ninguna autoridad o autorización para dar permisos a ningún estudiante. Ok, so lastimosamente yo no puedo, no tengo la facultad para decirle a alguien, oh, no está bien, no hay problema, porque del momento que yo digo eso, el, el estudiante va a decir, el teacher me dio permiso, y entonces, y yo no estoy, uh, no tengo esa facultad para dar ningún permiso, ni por llegar tarde a la clase tampoco, así que se pueden evitar eh, mandarme los mensajes de, teacher, fíjese que hoy, o, o no puedo estar, yo lo único que le puedo decir, ok, eh, lastimosamente Insafor pide que usted se conecte, es lo que le voy a responder, ok, eh, para que quedemos claros desde, desde hoy. Eh, ahora, voy a ser franco con usted como, as your teacher, por ejemplo, if you have a problem, y esto sí se lo voy a decir, si usted tiene algo ahí como decir un problema o alguna dificultad, pero está conectado o conectada, right? Y dice, teacher, fíjese que aquí tengo visita o algo, or something, right? Or you're at work, está haciendo algo de trabajo. Yo soy flexible, ¿ok? I am flexible, ¿ok? Yo le voy a pedir que nomás se quede conectado o conectada para que no pierda los minutos. Y ya después, a la hora de hacer breakout rooms, yo lo, yo lo voy a tomar en cuenta o la voy a tomar en cuenta, incluso a la hora de activar su cámara, ¿ok? Ahí sí puedo ser flexible con ustedes. So there's no problem with that. Ok. Pero no puede ser como decir hoy, mañana y el siguiente día lo mismo, lo mismo, right? Ya, ya, ya como que ya no. So in times of emergency, I will help you. Ok. On that level. Let me see. Next part. Next part. Let me see who can do this. Iris. Hello, Iris. Can you... Can you read the next part, please? Tarea sí, hey, vamos. Teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente? Ok, very good. Now, here, 80%. Ok. Me imagino que ya pasaron ustedes por esto. No es algo nuevo, right? En los módulos anteriores tuvieron que mantener un 80% eh, promedio de las tareas, right? Y evaluaciones. Esto aquí se refiere a la plataforma. Ok. Eh, espero todos tengan acceso a la plataforma. Eh, alguien ma ahí mandó el técnico al grupo. Eh, parece que fue. Who was it? I think it was Jimmy or somebody. Let me see. Sí, fue Jimmy, right? Hablando sobre. about your uh, 
ahí les mandó los enlaces, el grupo para que se unan y cualquier duda ahí le pueden eh, notificar a él también por si hay alguna duda sobre la plataforma. Ok, and remember that uh, la plataforma son cinco, son cinco tareas okay? <clears throat> y las tiene que completar every week, every week. Every day, practically. Okay? Now, remember, ustedes pueden avanzar en la plataforma. No es necesario que eh, esperen hasta la clase o después de la clase. You can always do it before. Y siempre si, se, si hay cualquier error o, eh, en una o dos preguntas en la, en la plataforma, lo puede realizar de nuevo. Okay? La, las, las preguntas. Eh, todos tienen acceso a la plataforma, ya saben cómo se mira, ¿verdad? ¿Hay alguien aquí que no? ¿O es nuevo o, o nueva? ¿No? Ok, great. Ok, continue, please. Eh, Iris. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Very good, continue. Todas las tareas de los demás, de los temas que ha cubierto. Tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado en SAFORP semanalmente. Ok. Now remember that um, it'll be Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday here. Lo vamos a cambiar. Ok, let's go to... cada miércoles, right? Porque estamos empezando, no empezamos el lunes. Entonces no le voy a decir, ya para mañana tienen que terminar todo. <laughs> no, right? So it's till next week, all right? Till next Wednesday. Okay? Can you continue, Iris? La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio o middle term es el miércoles 6 de octubre antes de la medianoche. Okay, now, el midterm, hay un examen medio que se le llama midterm. That one you are going to finish, you have to have it finished by Wednesday, October 6th, antes de la medianoche, right? So, si quieren tomar nota de esta fecha, eh, you can, porque ese sería el midterm exam, el examen medio, okay? Let me see, okay, la otra fecha que es sumamente importante, continue, it is. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final o final exam es el miércoles 20 de octubre antes de la medianoche. Ok, great. Miércoles 20 de octubre antes de la medianoche. This would be your final exam. Y esta fecha, 20 de octubre, es el día final también que terminamos el módulo. Ok, we finish here, the 20th of October. Ok, continue please, Iris. El manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma. No se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Ok, great. Remember that here, utilizamos lo que, lo que está el, en el manual de la plataforma. E incluso eh, al grupo le mandaron ya para que aquellos que lo quieran descargar o imprimir. Right? If you want to print it, that would be great. Okay? It would be better. If you can have it printed, right? If you can imprint it, it would be awesome. If you can print the manual. Okay, let me see. I have someone here too. Okay. Okay, uh, Jessica. Sorry, teacher. Okay, estoy leyendo su your comment. What um what are you referring to right here? Eh, no sé a qué se está refiriendo aquí, Jessica. I'm confused. It's not in your. It's another in my WhatsApp group, and I I I I I have a confused. Ah, okay. Okay, se equivocó entonces, right? Aquí. Teacher, excuse me, but I think that I'm not in this group. Okay. 
who 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 is this? Uh, I'm Carlos Velasquez. Okay, Carlos. Uh, yes, you are in this group. Le mandaron un enlace para aquí, verdad? Um, uh, intermedio tres. Uh, yeah, but this is a group. Only I have received uh, messages, but only one number, but I'm not in the world, I think. Yeah, you are. Jo Carlos Jose Velasquez Zacapa? Es usted? Yes, I am. Yes, uh, I am. Yes, that is you. Uh, es usted, sí? Aquí está en este grupo. Okay? Okay. I'm going to look for it. Okay. All right. O algunos estaban en otro grupo y por eso están como en duda o algo, Carlos, en Jessica. No, I'm a new student. Okay, all right. Let me see. All right. Okay, let's continue. All right, let me see. Remember that the manual can be, ya como lo dijimos, puede ser descargado en la plataforma también. And the next part, let me see. Okay, la plataforma Zoom. Here we're going to talk about the platform Zoom. Okay, let me see. Jessica, can you read, please? Yes, teacher. Can you read here, please, the platform Zoom? Which one? The one that is on the screen, la que está en la pantalla. ¿La puede ver? Tareas, tareas y evaluaciones. Tareas y evaluaciones es lo que estoy viendo ahorita. Ok, let me see. Abigail. Sí, plataforma, Zoom, botón mute. Yeah. Zoom. Yes, plataforma. Botón mute. silencio. Ok. Cámara. Chat, break rooms, button ask for help. Okay, great, great. All right, this is the, the pretty much what the platform Zoom has. Uh, you can always put mute and turn on your camera and chat and breakout rooms and the button for help when we do activities together. Okay, now that was a little bit of introduction of what is expected de lo que se le espera de ustedes durante este módulo, right? And let me see, I'm going to share, stop share. Any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta? Any questions on this? Yeah, que alguno... ¿Mm? No? Ok. Right. Let me see. Now. I'm going to share share another one. Okay. Okay, can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, yes. great. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Ana, Beatriz. Yes, teacher. Okay, can you read, please, uh, the topic or the topics? We have more than one, right? Yes. Introduction, class rules, product life cycle, vocabulary, Thursday, September 6, 60, 2001. Mm, 2000... 2021. Excellent, right? Okay, thank you, Anna. Thank you, thank you, all right? And this is my name. Again, you can call me Teacher or Mr. Henry. Whichever, Henry. Yes, Henry. Or you can call me Teacher Henry or Mr. Henry, right? Whichever one you prefer. I have no problem with it, okay? This is Intermediate okay. 3, and this is Class Number 1, right? Class Number 1. So basically, we already saw some of this, the introduction about 
the module, what is expected, the requirements, and every class I will be putting the number of the class. Remember, it's five weeks, right? Five weeks. Now I'm going to share with you another slide. And uh, let me see, Juan Jose, can you read number one, please? Give a brief introduction about yourself. Very good, right? This is going to be number one, give a brief introduction about yourself, and we will come back to this, okay? Number two, Juan. Okay, be respectful and please participate in class. Very good, be respectful and please participate in class, right? And this is what I was, um, what the other uh, colleague here, Freddy's, right? This is number three, Freddy, can you read it? Yeah, a report will be writing on Written. your progress in class. Read it in your report, in your progress in class. Very good, a report. Ooh. Right, uh, this is what we were talking about earlier. Esto es lo que estábamos hablando anteriormente. Right, uh, básicamente, I'm going to say in Spanish so it can be 100% clear. Desde hoy hasta el final del módulo, yo haré dos reportes: un reporte medio y un reporte final de cada uno de ustedes. Okay, so a report will be written, lo voy a, lo voy a escribir en la plataforma administrativa de cada uno de ustedes sobre el progreso, about your progress in class. Esto es ya aquí, with me, as you as in learning and participating and being on time, punctual, todo eso lo tomaré en cuenta. ¿Qué va a ir incluido en este reporte? Este reporte lo voy a hacer yo personalmente, en lo cual voy a poner, si usted participa en clase, okay, si quieren escribirlo, you can, que es lo que va a ir incluido, all right? Primero, participación en clase. Number two, si sí enciende las cámaras. Si usted no le enciende, pues yo voy a escribir que no enciende sus cámaras. Si le enciende, mucho que mejor, porque está eh, siguiendo los requerimientos de INSAFOR. Número tres, si usted hace las tareas aparte, no las de la plataforma, sino las que yo dejo durante la clase, y las mandaría como el WhatsApp group, alguna otra tarea fuera de, de la plataforma, si usted las realiza. And then if, if, if you, um, the more you participate, the better. Okay, the more you participate, the better. And that will be it. That, that will be your, your report, cómo usted va progresando, eh, algunas necesidades que quizás necesite, ahí lo hago documentado. Okay, I will document on, on each one of you. Okay, so hay para que estén atentos, eh, para que no tengan una sorpresa al final del módulo, right? Van a decir, oh, yo no sabía. Eh, desde antemano se, se lo estoy diciendo hoy en la primera día. Okay, now, uh, a mí me gusta escribir eh, reportes positivos. All right, a mí, eso es lo que me gusta hacer a mí. Ahí depende de cada uno de ustedes. All right, let me see. Okay, let's go to the next one. The agenda for this module, let me see. Blanca, hello, Blanca. Hello. Okay, can you read the, uh, the agenda for this module, please? Yes, yeah. and on the week number one, we're going to see the unit one. Yes. Week number two, the unit two. Week number three, unit two, and midterm. Exactly. Unit four, week four, sorry, <laughs> unit three, and week five, unit four, and final exam. Okay, great, right? And remember, you, I already gave you the dates. I already gave you the dates for the midterm and the final exam, right? I gave you the dates earlier. I hope you wrote them down so we can continue. Okay, class, that was it as far as introduction, it, my, my name and everything that we are going to be performing as far as the module for this, uh, for this five weeks. Are there any questions? Alguna pregunta? Any doubts? 
any doubts, any questions, please feel free to ask me, okay, before we begin. Estamos a iniciar ya with the match. Any questions? Any doubts? I have a question. Okay, who who's this? Me, Abigail. Okay, Abigail, hi. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. I am a new student here. I would like to know more about uh, the exams. Um, if there are oral exams or how, how are the exams? Okay, no problem. Thank you for asking, Abigail. Thank you for asking. Now, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to share this. Okay, now. Okay. Okay. Abigail, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. This is where you're going to do your exam. Okay. Your exams will be done here in this platform. Each one of you has access to this platform. If you don't have access, remember in the group, Jimmy sent a message, uh, Soporte Tecnico, if you cannot access the platform. But you, can, you have to access with your email, right? With your assigned email that you sign in. And basically here, where it says midterm here, can you see it? This is the midterm. And then at the end of section four, you have the final exam here. Remember, you do this online, online. Whenever you finish, your grade will come up. Okay, su nota le va a salir. I get that grade, yo subo sus notas. So if you ever have any questions, if you ever have any questions about your, your score, please ask me, feel free to ask me because I can always verify your grades, okay? Because I am the one that puts that grade into the platform. So you basically go here, okay? You go to Curso, Abigail. You go to Curso, and then you see the sections. No más son cuatro. There are only four sections. And then you click there, and then you will see all your uh, other questions that will pop up. As you can see right here, ahorita no hay, porque es el primer día de clases, right? You, I mean, el video, you will not see it. Remember, at the end of class, the video will be recorded and it will be put on YouTube, okay? So on your emails, you have a YouTube playlist. Recuerda que los videos son subidos a YouTube, okay? Eh, acceso público. So remember that. And then you can always watch the recording here. It's not here right now because we're starting the class. Pero la clase está siendo grabada. All right. So at the end of the class, I will upload it to YouTube. And then by, by tomorrow, you will see the video recording here. And then you basically click all these. These are the homeworks. Okay. These are the homeworks that you will have to perform. Okay, this is for like uh, unit one. And then when you go to unit two, then you're going to see the, um, then you're going to see like, for example, the exam and more homework for section of, for unit number two, as you can see here, unit number two. And then you have all these activities. These are the ones you have to do, Abigail. Estas son las que tiene que hacer, las que tiene lápiz, eh, lápiz que dice tarea. These, okay? These are the ones okay. you have to do, all right? Then when you finish these, this is homework, okay? In the platform. And then you're going to have access to the um, exam. Como puede ver aquí, as you can see right here, it says midterm. So this will be your the exam questions. And then you have part one, part two, part three, and part four. There are four parts to the exam. Okay. Any more questions, Abby, Abigail? No, thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, no problem. And remember, when you do this activity, you must, 
it's not maybe or possibility no you must have 80 percent or higher okay 80 percent or higher to advance to the next module okay any other questions any other questions yeah, teacher, sorry, but I can't find the word. Uh, I don't know. Maybe my okay, uh, can you speak a little, phone... little, bit, a little bit louder, please, Carlos? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. teacher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't find the word. Maybe I don't know if my number phone is right. I can't find the group. You can't find the group. See, and what's up? Ah. Okay, let me see. Okay, so basically you're telling me that you're not in the WhatsApp group, ahorita? You're not in the WhatsApp group? De esta clase? No? Uh, uh, no, I, I can't find it. Okay, it's in your email. In my email? Yes, in your email. Okay. En su correo mm -hmm. electrónico, ahí, ahí va a haber un enlace que dice, unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Así está escrito. Oh. Okay. So you click there. So you go to your email. And you click there. I, I, the same link para entrar a esta clase. El mismo oh. correo para, de donde utilizó para entrar a esta clase. Abajito está eh, WhatsApp yeah. Group, unirse. Y ahí le da clic y se une al... al a the WhatsApp group, okay? Yeah, I found it. Okay, great. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you, teacher. All right, yeah, there you go. Great, yeah, awesome. Thank you, teacher. All right, yeah. anyone else? Anyone else that has a question? Anyone else? Questions, question, question? No? Okay, great. Okay, let's begin. Are you ready? Right? Ya tiene lo, eh, su libro? You have your module ready? Yes. Okay, for unit one? Okay, great. That's awesome, right? I suggest if you can get it printed, it will be, it will be like, it will be beneficial to you. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second attendance so we don't have to stop anymore. Okay. I'm going to take the second attendance. Okay. You see, Abigail Guadalupe Perez. Present. Okay, thank you. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Thank you. Brenda Erlinda Sainz Viatoro. Okay, no answer. Carlos Jose Velasquez Zacapa. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana Yesenia Reyes. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. Okay, no answer. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Flo okay. Flor Idalma Ramirez Calderon. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco Amadeo Viacorta Chavez. Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Fredis Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Glenda Renderos. Okay, no answer. Iris Beatriz Herrera. Present. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara. Present. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sanchez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Awesome. 
Juan Jose Avalos. Campos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel Ángel Centeno. Miguel Ángel Centeno, no answer. Roberto Fabio Ayala. Present. Okay, thank you. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla. Okay, Rolando Quintanilla, no answer. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. Okay, thank you. All right. Let me see. Right. Okay, class. Let me put you here. Present. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. Okay, great. Okay, let's look at the manual. On your manual, the first thing. But first, before we look at the manual, remember that um, I have put. I want to hear you, okay? Before we begin, I want to hear you. Let me see. Here. Remember, we're going to do number one. Give a brief introduction about yourself. So I'm going to call on each one of you, and I want you to be brief. Maybe something brief, like 30 seconds or something. Give me, tell me something about yourself. Okay, I want to hear you. I want to I want to hear you speak English. So I'm going to call on Abigail Guadalupe. Can you tell me yes. something about yourself, please? Something that you would like to share with the class and with me, Abigail. Okay. Um, my name is Abigail Perez. I I am software developer. I am 29 years old. I like to, to, to be in constant learning. And that's why I am here. I want to improve my English skills. And I am also volunteer at, at CHOR. I, in my free time, I like to spend time with my family. I like to uh, listen podcast and take courses online okay very good thank you abigail excellent well done thank you for your participation all right next one ana beatriz something brief about yourself okay first my name is beatriz valencia okay i'm a lawyer i work in a band so if you want along, you can ask me. That's a job. <laughs> All right, awesome. So you prefer for me to call you Beatriz, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, awesome. I like Beatriz. Okay, no problem. You can tell me that also, right? I respect that. Thank you. Okay. All right, Thank you, awesome. Teacher. All right. Thank you. All right, let me see. Blanca. Stephanie. Hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Blanca Navarro. Okay. I'm 30 years old. And I'm a seller woman. <laughs> and I want to learn uh, about English because it's a, a language that, that can help me a lot with when I walk going to travel or something like that and i'm going to i'm i'm going to to learn about the english okay well thank you all right so you want me to call you um blanca right yeah all whatever right. Where, okay no yeah. problem all right yeah okay great thank you thank you next one um carlos jose velasquez Yeah, I'm Carlos Velasquez. I'm 22 years old. I like to be learning because that that's so important in my life. I think I'm a mechatronic. I am a mechatronic. I would like to share a good moments with, with you. All right, great. 
Thank you. Glad to have you here, Carlos. All right, great. Thank you. Okay, Carlos. All right, let me see. Edwin, Alexander. Um, hi, good night to everyone. Uh, my name is Edwin Ayala. Actually, I'm 35 years old. Um, I am a bodyguard. I work as a bodyguard. Actually, I don't like to say nobody like like that because <laughs> no. When, when someone when when I tell to someone like that I'm a bodyguard, the first question to me is, "You, you have a gun?" Like, yeah, who you can have... answer that or yeah, yeah, you know. So it's very privacy. So um, I'm very glad to be here. Actually, I'm very happy to be uh, again. Actually, I was in another um, uh, models, but I quit because I for my work. But now I have the time, and I wish I have a. Uh, I can. Uh, I'm here to learn, you know, everything. And thank you for the opportunity. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. All right. Welcome. All right. Thank you for having you here today. And it's interesting. 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 Great. Let me see. Okay. Next one is going to be. Flor Idalma Ramirez. Good evening. Um, Hi. I like to call me. No, that's Flor. It's okay. okay. I am 28 years old. I live in Lourdes, Colón, in La Libertad. Um, I work in a travel agency. Um, what else? I, I have two dogs. Okay, great. So you work for a travel agency. So if I ever need to yes. travel, just call you, right? <laughs> yes, please. All right. Okay. Maybe I will. All right. Good possibility there. In a, maybe in, in a couple of weeks. Okay. Well, great. And I also have a lawyer. I have a bodyguard here. All right. Great. Awesome. Great. You have everything now. You have yeah, everything now. Yeah. Diversity, <laughs> right? Diversity <laughs> here. Awesome. Awesome. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Francisco Amadeo. Yes, teacher. Hi. Uh, okay. Well, uh, my name is Francisco Villacorta. I live in Rosario La Paz. Used to close to the airport. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. I, I work in Textile La Paz. Mm. Only that. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for mm -hmm. sharing something brief. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Okay. All right. Freddy's Vladimir Cortez. Good evening. Hi, okay. Tell us something, Freddy. You want me okay. to call you Freddy's or Vladimir? However you want. Okay, no problem. Whatever is easier for you. <laughs> All right, great. Okay, my name is Freddy. Um, 30, yeah, let's say 31 years old. I live in Acajutla City. I'm a plumber. So, I think that would be it. I don't like to talk that much about my Oh, well, I have some, some, um, let's say different kind of animals. I have some belly ways, I have some, some dogs. Oh, chicken, so. <laughs> okay, great. Es excuse me, excuse me. Do you say peliwayes? Yeah. So th those those animals are for eat, right? Yeah. Oh my god! And you and you sell them or something like that? I already sold one. Okay. I, I heard that they're, they're, they're are very expensive, right? They are. All right. Good. I'm sorry for, for, for I'm sorry for interrupting. I'm sorry for interrupting. Thank you. I just want to know. <laughs> okay, well, great. Yeah, great interaction, right? Great interaction. Okay, Fredis, thank you. Thank you for sharing that, right? Thank you. All right, awesome. Let me see. Next is Iris. Iris Beatriz. Um, good evening. Uh, yes. Uh, classmate and teacher. Okay. I'm 26 years old. 
I'm a public accounting uh, student and I like to flowers, plants, and, and to eat pupusas and only that. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Iris. You want me to call you Iris or Beatriz? Mm, I prefer Iris. Okay, Iris. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. Next one, Jacqueline. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Well, my name is, thank you. My name is Jacqueline Morales, but you can call me Jose. Thank you. Um, I'm, um, I'm 38 years old. I work in a, a small school in a kindergarten oh, okay. as a teacher's assistant. Um, I have three children, uh, two pets. I live in Mexicanos, and it's a pleasure to be with you in this okay. module. Okay, thank well, you so thank much. you, thank you. Uh, I just have one question. How did you say you want to be called? How did you say you want to be called? Uh, sure. uh, Jackie. Jackie, just okay. Jackie. All yeah. right, great. All right, great. Awesome. Okay, Jackie, thank you. Okay, Jarvin Isaac Guevara. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. You, you can call me just Harvey. Uh, I am 22 years old. I live in Lourdes. I like all kinds of music. I am, I think I am an easy going person. So I hope that this module we can learn a lot of. No, oh, thank you. Yeah, we sure will. We sure will. Thank you, Jarvin. Thank you for your participation. Excellent. All right, let me see Jennifer. Good evening, everyone. This is Jennifer Hisela, and I like to call by Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. I'm a public accountant, but I work as a content analyst. I'm from San Pedro, Peru, La Pan, but I live in San Salvador. And actually, I go to visit my mom every year. Okay. Um... Okay, Jennifer, uh, did you finish? Because the microphone cut off. Yes, teacher. Okay, well, thank you, okay. I, just, I was just wondering because it was like, boop, all of a sudden, right? Okay, well, thank you, Jennifer, for your participation. And Juan Jose Avalos. Good evening. Um, mm -hmm. I prefer uh, call me Juan Jose. Uh, I Juan, didn't, uh, Juan Jose, Juan right? Jose. All yes, right. Jose. All right, great. I feel that it's better. <laughs> Great. Um, I live in San Marcos. I work in um, University Francisco Bolivia. Uh, teacher too, like you. Uh, um, um, I am three daughter and one uh, grandson. Um, uh, what else? Um, I, I that is all. That is all. Okay. Well, thank you. Right. Glad to have you here and. Glad to hear that you, you also work in the educational system, all right, at the university. Okay, yes, yes. great. We have different diverse group here. Thank you, Juan Jose. All right, and next one is Roberto Fabio Ayala. Good evening. Hi. My name is Roberto Fabio Ayala. Um, it's, it's not like I mean of something, but... Um, I might know something, but I prefer to be called Fabio. Just Fabio, all right, great. Not really as I will get mad or something, but. Okay. I will call you <laughs> uh, Fabio. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm 27 years old and I'm, uh, I'm a public accountant. Okay, public accountant also. All right, great. And that's thank you. Okay, now finally, Jessica. Good evening, everyone and teacher. My Hi. name is Janari, but I prefer or I like to call me Janari uh, because it's not common. 
And I'm 33 years. And I'm an accountant and an auditor. And I like all kind, all kind of music, uh, but not uh, agropecuarias music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> So you like to listen to music, right? But not that type of music. No, not that music. <laughs> right. It's nice to meet you. Hey, well, nice to have you here also. Okay, nice to meet you too. Janari, right? Janari, I'm going to say it in English. Janari, is that cool? Janari, but not January, right? No, no, not January, no. Right? January, right? January, right? Yeah. How will you pronounce it in Spanish? Ja Janari? Janari? Janari. Janari? Janari. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. Okay, Janari. All right. Great. Okay, class. I wanted to hear you speak, and I wanted to give a little mini evaluation as far as your your vocabulary and your sentence structure. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Very good. Very good. For the most part, right? A few words here and there, but that is just a learning process, right? to learn more and more, and that way you get better and better and better. Okay, class. Now, let's begin with module, with your module here. And what I have here is if we go to unit one, if we go to unit one, now, um, before, here's the page, right? This is page number nine page number nine, but if you look at the beginning of the, um, let me change this. All right, let me put this right here. Remember that each module has four units. And I just want to share this real briefly. Okay, just briefly, just the four units. Okay, the four units, can you read them please? Um, eh, where are you? Okay, Flor, can you read the map of the book, please? Yes, unit one, the product life cycle. Mm -hmm. Unit two, marketing. Unit three, branding. Unit four, loyalty. Very good. This is the map of your book, basically your module, okay? Unit one, what we're going to do this week, the product life cycle, right? This is dealing with with a, a little bit about business. Remember, this is uh, English for work program, right? So there's going to be a lot of technical words, especially in English, a lot of technical English words. Product life cycle, okay? And then we have marketing for unit two and then branding and then loyalty. So basically this module is related to business, okay? A lot of business terminologies. So remember, remember, uh, remember that, please. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to stop share. And let's go back to my PowerPoint. All right, here we go. Okay, we're going to begin the product life cycle and a little bit of vocabulary. Okay, we already did the, the main parts here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you so you can read. Mm, but it's cut. Okay, um, you probably won't see the last part, but can you read, please? Can I have a volunteer to read um, right here where it says describe? Let me put my little right here. Can, can I have a volunteer read, please? Yes, I can do it. Okay, go ahead, Carlos, yeah. Okay. Describe the details about the stage of the product's life. Stages. 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 
stages of your product life. Of the product life. Of the product life. Of the product life. I can see uh, cycle. Cycle, very good. Cycle. Okay. cycle. So it says, describe details about the stages of the product life cycle. Okay. Yeah. Now, the first thing we have to do, uh, I'm going to give you a recommendation before you enter the class. Okay. Try to read a little bit. Try to read a little bit before you enter the class because this is a lot of technical vocabulary. Okay. Some of you probably will, haven't heard of this vocabulary before, but it's good to always give a little reading before you enter the class. So you won't come in and like, uh, what is a product life cycle? Or what are you talking about, teacher? All right, or what is the, the book? What is it referring to? Okay, so if you give a little bit of reading before you enter, you are gonna have a better idea. Okay, but don't worry. I am here to inform you and to guide you in the, in the process. Okay, so it says describe details. So here you're going to describe the detail and I put this here. Okay, I put this here extra for you. So you can have a visual idea of what a product life cycle is. Okay, not just reading, but I gave you something extra. This is not in your book. Okay, this is from me to you. All right, so we have here the first one. Continue, please, uh, Carlos. Yeah. Have you ever participate in the development of the new product? What is a product of service you co your company has recently introduced, introduced you to market? To the market. To, to the market. Very market. good. Excellent. Excellent. So here, before we begin, have you ever participated, any of you here in class, have you ever participated in the development of a new product? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I have. Y yes, I have. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. What um, product would that be? Well, uh, three years ago, actually, I was working in, in Pexi. So okay. I don't know if you if you guys remember the the uh, this meal. The, the gold uh, ch ch chacal chacalaca. Okay. Chacalaca is, is chocolate with milk. Yes. We introduced this product to all to all the store, to supermarkets and all the stuff, you know. And we present a lot of things like advertisements, uh, announced on, on social media and, and all the things like that. So we, we introduced the product uh, uh, in, in different ways, you know. Very so good. it was great, yeah. That is a great example, perfect example, right? Very good, very good. And this is what this unit is all about, okay? About a product, right? A product. Thank you, Edwin. Anyone else that would like to share something? Anyone else? Anyone else? What about a service? Has anyone produced a service? A service? It doesn't have to be a product. It could be a service too. A service? No? Okay. All right. Any Let's, excuse me? Yes. Do I have a volunteer here? Hello? I ask you what kind of service? Like okay. an example? Uh, uh, any, any, anything, something new uh, that you participate in developing. Okay. Uh, For example, I'm going to give you an example. For the class, for example, remember Hugo or Pedidos? Were they here five years ago? No, right? They developed through the pandemic, new businesses established, right? So that delivery service is new, right? I use their application and I say, I say sometimes good money, right? Well, I don't have to go and drive and they come deliver to the house, right? So that is a service, eh, Freddy. That is a, a service, right? So, or and you avoid the traffic too. Exactly, right? And the gas went up 
right? The gas yeah. went up. The gas uh, price. Pine, right? everything. It's exactly. very useful. Yes, right. It's useful, and mm. they also give uh, coupons, right? I already used up like two or three coupons, right? Three dollars, really? five dollar <laughs> coupons. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Yeah. So it's like, hey, I don't have to go over there. They come to me, and I get it at a discount. So I use exactly. both. I use both, both one here, one here, right? So <laughs> you nice. have to be smart, right? You have to be smart when you purchase now, all right? Because everything went up, right? The prices have gone up, all right? That was just an example for you. Yeah, and that's what I was asking you. What kind of service? Because where I work, I would do we get some service, but it's a water service, so we supply water to a community. We're like Anda. Okay, so you see, it could be it could be a service like that also, right? But uh, maybe a, a new a new function or a new product, right? A new function or a new product. Okay, very good, very good, excellent, good participation. Now, what you have to know is what is a product line cycle? What does it refer to? Let's look at the the main elements, the main elements of what makes up a product life cycle. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at the elements. Let's look at the vocabulary. Um, let me see. Beatriz. Yes, teacher. Can you read the vocabulary here, please? Four vocabulary words. Okay. Maturity. Okay. Ground. Growth. 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 Decline. Market introduction. Very good. Excellent. So we have maturity, growth, decline, market introduction. So, okay, teacher, what is all this? These are the elements. These are the elements that make up the product life cycle, okay? These are the elements that make up, right? Que hacen o producen lo que es el product line cycle, life cycle, okay? So we have here, we have here the intro. Let me get this. We have here the intro or the market introduction right for example uh, the colleague here the classmate here talked about chakalaka right so he talked about chakalaka or a new water uh, assembly line or a new product like ugo or pedidos or any other product in the market so it's introduced right we have a market introduction so here we have the introduction so the sales are low okay we have sales here sales here and then time and this is the graph so we have sales here time here so when we introduce the market a product when we introduce a product into the market we are basically at zero right no sales right like chakalaka for example right and it's introduced they're going to advertise, they're going to spend money, they're going to go in, in a, into different stores and try to get the stores to sell the product at any corner store, at a major store, or wherever they can distribute the product. So it's introduced into the market. Then once the product is introduced, the sales grow, right? Everybody like, hey, have you tried the new product? Have you tried the new chakalaka? Yeah, it's good, yeah. And then, it's, and then it grows, it grows, it grows. Kind of like Zoom, right? Five years ago, how many people use Zoom? How many of you use Zoom? No, I don't think, maybe uh, one or I, two, right? Yeah, I, and I, I, didn't, I didn't know that Zoom exists in that like, time. Exactly. When the Zoom was before the pandemic, right? <laughs> when the pandemic yeah. hit, everybody started using Zoom and, it's, it, and it has grown, right? So 
as it grows, as the demand of people that want to use it, like I use Zoom here, and I also have my own account, my own paid account. I also have my own for, for me, right? And then it grows, and this is where you have your growth, right? Your growth, basically el crecimiento, el producto, the growth of the product or service. So as time, as time, you have time here, remember, time and sales are connected. So as time passes, so do the sales. Okay, so it increases, increases until we get to maturity, maturity. Here, so here is where it gets to like a limit, right? It's like it levels, se nivela, it levels the product of sales with time settles. It's not like or or going down. It's like it settles, right? It goes at a trend like this, year after month after month, and it stays steady, right? There's steady, steady growth. But then we have what is called decline, right? Can someone give me a product that decline? Can someone like, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, I remember I used to own a Nokia phone. Remember the ones you go like this, you used to flip flop, right? Do people use those or a Blackberry? Do we, do people still use Blackberry? No, right? We use more uh, Samsung iPhone and those types of things, right? So the product declines with time. As it goes, it goes, it declines with time okay so then the product loses it loses sales and also value okay this is a product this is what you call a product life cycle okay this is basically it okay a good dem demonstration of that okay let me see um uh did anyone Peter. yes I think also uh, some products decline because of uh, the technology. Exactly, exactly. All right, exactly. That is correct. As technology grows or new products emerge, new products emerge, other products become non-existent, right? Non-existent. So it's like, ah, no, nah, we don't use, or apps. Do you remember some apps? That were like at one point be like yeah right and then like ah, come new one like TikTok right came out new one oh yeah TikTok right everybody but what about the old old um, apps right just like Abigail said right um, new technology comes right the others obsolete obsoletas right other products become obsolete very good Abigail excellent yes that is correct right that is correct. Um, can someone give me an example of a product decline or pretty much non-existent anymore? Can I have some um, participation here? Good examples. Iris, Juan, Roberto, Francisco. Uh, uh, maybe the Kodak, Kodak company. Okay, Kodak, yes. Kodak, right? It's like... Who uses Kodak, right? Like, right? Like, it has declined so much. I think they're in bankrupt, right? Right. Very good. That's a good example. Polaroid. Polaroids. Polaroids. You remember those? Right. Also. Okay. What about you? Raise your hand. Let me see. Um, Fabio. Me. Yeah. Uh, it's a service. Uh, Blackbuster. Okay. Blackbuster, right? Those are like a video store, right? That's right. And they were popular in the, 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 the 2000. Yes, in the but United now, States. In the United States, and even here, there was a few. Blockbuster videos, right? Yeah. Blockbuster And now, it Boom, right? With the VCR, right? With the VCR, you go get, you go rent. You go rent the movies. Now, we don't go rent movies. We, we, download, we download everything online through Google, right? Or apps that you can watch movies for free. Right, like uh, Netflix. 
Netflix, there you go, Netflix, right? We don't go to Blockbuster Video anymore, right? I remember I used to have a membership for Blockbuster in the United States, right? I'd be like, Blockbuster Video every weekend, right? Ah, not anymore, right? <laughs> All right, very good example. Anyone else? Además, anyone else? Also, uh, Crocs. Shoes? Yes, remember? Crocs, yes, I remember when they first came out, they were very popular and then, right? Okay, any other product or service? Anyone else? Anyone else? Oh, okay, let's continue. Okay, now, now that I gave you a basic understanding or a brief preview and analysis of what is a product life cycle, I want you to read these definitions and I want you in your module, in your book, I want you to connect which one goes where. But first, I'm going to call on, uh, let me see, Flor, can you read the first one, please? The product. Yes, is the first one of the, sorry. Uh, can you just read it, please? Just read, letter A, the product. Ah, okay. The product is no longer attractive for many customers. Sales stop and the producer start making decision about discounting the product. Sorry, buying at competitors or selling it to another producer. Okay, very good, right? Discontinuing, discontinuing, Flor, discontinuing. Okay, let me see. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, Jackie, can you read letter B, please? Yes, of course. Um, at this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of a product might be low. In marketing efforts, try to develop branding. Quality and awareness, awareness, I'm sorry. Okay, awareness, awareness. Awareness, thank you. Quality and awareness of the new product to innovators. Okay, very good. A new product to innovators, right? To innovators, very good. Innovators are the ones that are always trying to find new things or new ways of doing uh, a service or a product, right? Now, um, what, what is awareness? Hello? Is, uh, do you know what awareness is? No, I don't know. Can you tell us what is the okay. meaning of that? Okay, awareness is it's whenever... like a price. It's like um, a award. Uh, when you won a prize or something like that. Mm, awareness. Okay, uh, when you win a prize, it's an award. It's like this award. Okay, that is a prize, award or a medal or a recognition. Right, that is an award. Right. Una medalla, como le decimos, algo así, right? Uh, a price, right? But here it says awareness. Awareness is like um, to bring to bring into light, traerle la conciencia or, or, or el conocimiento de algo, of a product, right? To bring awareness, to bring something of awareness is like, como le dije, is El conocimiento de un producto, right? The knowledge of a product. That is awareness. We're, since we're, this is in reference to business, okay? In business. Remember that some of these vocabulary words, they are different from regular vocabulary versus in relating to economics or business or uh, product or sales or marketing okay, so some some words are a little bit different they 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 differ they differ okay just like growth growth and decline and all these they might be different 
in the average speaking vocabulary versus economics. Okay, very good. Next one, please, Abigail. Let us see. Okay, uh, the growth in sales decreased because there are many competitors. Market saturation of course. The marketing efforts work to differentiate the product and prices might be lower than the previous stages. All right, stages, stages. Very good, Abigail. Excellent. Next one, Edwin, can you read the last one, please? Of course. The new product registered an increase in demand because more customers accept it. The sales start to grow and there is little compet competition. 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 Very good correction. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, what I want you to do is connect. Which one do you think goes where? Okay, so what you're going to do is connect, connect like, like for example, like this, like this, or like this, like this, wherever, wherever you think letter A goes. Okay, I'm going to it give is. you, I'm going to give you like a minute, a minute or two to. Security. All right. A with which one, and then B with which one, B with that one, that one, that one, or this one, right? You decide. So you have one minute and then I'm gonna call on four people. I'm going to call on four people and I hope you're doing the activity. So when I call on you, you can give me the answer. Okay, you have one minute to do it. Okay, Francisco, is this your answer? Uh, my opinion. Okay. I'm not All sure, right. but. All right. Okay. I'm going to give you, you have access, okay, to you see Francisco, he put an arrow here. So remember, you have access to, I hope you know how to use Zoom pretty good, right? No matter how other buttons, right? But you have access, I'm giving you access. If you want to participate, Francisco did this, okay? If you want to do letter B and do the arrow, you can do it. You have access to, to edit. Pueden editar ustedes también. You can edit also and draw your uh, a line if you want, right? I can see who's doing it if you want to, right? Okay. Uh, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but actually, letter A for me is decline. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see. So... We have this, someone put, okay, Francisco put decline, and Juan Jose, okay. Let's see, I'm going to de flecha aquí. <laughs> ah, you, you decide, right? I can see your name, right? I can see your name when you're doing it. So I have one yeah. Jose there, and then uh, and letter, Ana, Carlos. Letter, uh -huh. letter, letter, letter B, 
is marketed introduction. Okay. So I have here, okay. someone already put this one. All right, so I have so here. It's, 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 I think it's wrong. This is the, the correct. And letter C is grow. Okay. All right, I'm just having you participate to see what you think. All right, is everyone <laughs> finished? Is everyone finished? Okay, let me see. I'm going to call on someone. Um, let me see. Flor, what do you think is letter A? For me, it's decline too. Okay, decline. I want I want people to raise their hand, to raise their hand, press the hand on your Zoom app, if you believe is decline. Letter A, decline. Let me see how many people I have here that think is decline. Let's see, I have five so far, six, eight. Okay. All right. Let me let me do this. Okay. All right. Let me erase all this. Now, letter A is decline. That is correct. All right. Letter A is decline. All right. A product no longer attracted to many customers. Sales stop, right? As you can see here on the, it's in decline. The sales stop, everything goes downhill, right? Decline. What about letter B? What is letter B? It's a maturity growth or market introduction. Okay, Carlos says it's- Mar Marketing introduction. introduction. Okay. So how many people think it's marketing introduction? Okay. Okay. Eight people think, all right, it is correct. Market introduction is letter B. All right. Market introduction. Remember, it says right here at this stage, a new product is brought into the market. A new product is introduced into the market. So we have an introduction of a product right that the, the demand of the product might be low right because when you are introducing like chakalaka the demand is low because you're barely introducing the product right so the demand is going to be low then it then it, it, it rises right as the demand grows okay what about c is it growth or maturity Letter C. Hmm? Grow. Grow. Okay. Okay. How many people think it's growth? Okay. Three, four, five. Okay. Six, seven. So you think it's growth, number seven. Okay. I mean, letter C, you think is growth. Okay. How many people think is Maturity, letter C is maturity. Okay, I have eight, so almost half, right? Almost half, it's maturity. Letter C is maturity, right? Why? Because it says here, it's not growth because it says the growth in sales decreases, decreases, right? So remember what I was telling you earlier that on maturity, the sales stay steady. It's steady, right? It's steady. It's like it doesn't, it stays, it stays positive, right? And then it decreases a little bit. Yeah, I decline, right? So that would be the maturity, right? And the last one, Increase, I can this increase. So we have an increase elevation that is growth. That is growth, All right? So letter D is growth. 
Okay, let me see. Let me clear all this. I hope I hope you corrected it. And if if you have it on your uh, if you already have it printed, you can just scratch it and put the correct ones. Okay, put the correct ones. Now mm, I'm going to erase this. No. I'm going to show it again. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay, let's look at the at the conversation. Let's look at the conversation. Gina and Nelson. Uh, can you read? I need two volunteers. Um I'm going to call a Blanca. Yeah. Okay. Can you read the the instructions, please? In the conversation, right? Yes. Gina and Nelson are talking about green tortillas, a new product that has been introduced to the market recently. Take turns participating. Practicing the model conversation. Okay. Practicing, practicing the model, right? Practicing the model conversation. So here you're going to read this. You're going to do it. I'm going to put you in, in pairs, in breakout rooms, and I want you to read the conversation, okay? And it's, some, it's similar to what... Uh, what the classmate here said about uh, chakalaka, right? Similar to that, right? Similar story. So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and I want you to read this, okay? Who hasn't, um, who doesn't have access to the book at the moment? So everyone has access to the book? Okay, Flor and Jackie, right? You don't have the book or Iris? You don't have the the book yet, right? Okay, what I want you to do is um, take a picture. Take a picture of it. All right, better yet, I'm going to, if you can take a picture of it here, and then you can share it. Remember, you have access to share screen when you go to breakout rooms, okay? All I want you to do is practice the conversation, okay? And then we're going to do the begin the next page just to get to know each other also and do a little bit of participation. Okay, for the rest, I'm going to put you in breakout room. This is only going to be, going to be for, for a few minutes, maybe three minutes, so you can practice the conversation. Remember, you're going to read first and then the other class is going to read and then switch, switch. You're going to switch. So one is going to be Gina and one is going to be Nelson. And then the other person is going to be Nelson and you're going to be Gina. Okay, let me see. Okay, there's going to be one with three people because it's an uneven number. So are you ready for breakout rooms just to read, okay? One, two, three. Please enter breakout rooms just for about two or three minutes. Hi, Jackie, <laughs> Jennifer.
they some uh, um, they some delicious where do you get of them they are they are not everywhere yet only low prices market sells them at the moment i think mm -hmm. <laughs> at the moment yeah uh, it's correct okay you're missing a little bit more really it's, it's because the i i, I don't have access to... okay let me okay it's because i don't have access to the book right now and um i just took a screenshot and uh... okay yeah you're missing the last part where it says let's buy some i want to try oh. green tor tortricas Tortrica. yeah <laughs> okay so that's the that's the last part all right okay okay let me i want to share it with you let me see so you can see it right here. Okay. Can you Thank see you. it? Can you see it right here? It's not dead. It's loading. Yes, now I can see it now. Okay. So you see it right here where it says Nelson? Nelson, yeah, let's buy song. I want to try green, green tortillas. <laughs> All right, great. Yeah. So you switch? You did both? No. Okay. Let, me, let, okay, let me let me start first. Have you ever tried the new green tortillas? What's that? It sounds like tortillas. <laughs> They're actually curd chips with avocado flour flavor. Avocado, avocado. Um, they sound avocado. delicious. Where did you get them? They're they're not they're not everywhere yet. Only low prices market sells them at the moment. Let's buy some. I want to try green tortricas. All right, yeah, all right. So this no. is like these are like chips with avocado, right? So it's like avocado, avocado. yeah, avocado flavor, right? Avocado flavor. So they're green. They're green. And, right? and, and have you ever tried one of those? Because they're once in price mark. Mm. There's with avocado. Avocado, avocado. Oh, avocado. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, no, I've never tried them. I've tried other chips that have a maybe similar, but I haven't tried something like that. Like... Uh, yeah avocado flavor kind of weird huh <laughs> yes yeah, it's, it's just new products right new flavors so yeah. <laughs> so all right let's go back to the main session all right thank so you i see you there okay see you there Okay, welcome back. Thank you. All right, that was just a little practice so you can uh, communicate with another classmate and maybe participate as a group uh, in pairs, right? Now, after you read this, what did you think about the avocado flavor? What do you think about that? Would you try that product? Would you eat that right product? Uh, yeah, right now. <laughs> I go like to try. Ahorita <laughs> mismo. Yeah. Right now, right? So what what product? Okay, so I I've, I've tasted many different products or flavors, whether it's ice cream or chips, right? I like to eat chips, right? I, I'm a chip person. I do like chips, right? I buy maybe four bags of chips a week, right? So I eat maybe more, right? The big bags. Not the little one, the big bag. So what about you? What can you tell me? Can you tell me something where a flavor is like, I mean, I would like to eat that avocado flavor. And they're like, hey, let's go get it, right? Like uh, a new product in the market, introduction of a product, right? What product 
do you remember or can you can you like analyze and say yeah you know this product is new and it boom or, or it went it went up right it's like everybody wants it like hot potatoes right like hot pupusas right so it's like everybody the chivo wallet <laughs> all right chivo wallet is one all right right what else <laughs> what is another product that a lot of people are like anxious to get that's like Mary chan soup huh Maruchan soup okay very yes, good right the it's like ranchita silver okay Anyone else? Very good. Anyone else? PlayStation, PlayStation 5. 5. PlayStation 20. Uh, <laughs> PlayStation 5. Eight. Eight. iPhone. iPhone. The iPhone. last iPhone. The last iPhone. All right. Very good. New PlayStation. The the latest iPhone. Any other product? In the United States, there was a tendency when new shoes came out or new Nikes or new Jordans, right? Everybody was waiting or like on Black Friday or a new product, everybody's waiting, like, yeah, right? They want to try it, right? Right? Or whenever they put two for one in donuts, like, ah! the line is like from here to, from San Miguel to Chalatenango, right? The line that long to enter donut place for two for one, right? Two for one, right? Or Black Friday or try a new product. What has been a new flavor? Has anybody tried a new flavor that they're like, you're like, hmm, this is good, right? I've never tried this. Can someone give me an experience with a new product or flavor that you might have seen in the market that you've never tried? And then when you taste it, it was like, hmm, pretty good. Anybody? Anyone? Maybe Little, little Caesar. Okay, Little Caesars. Okay, Blanca. There's actually uh, chips that have the flavor of avocado. 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 It's, I think I think that it's buenacho. Okay. All right. And they have the the that flavor. Okay. And so, do you like it's it? Strange. It's yeah, strange. it's strange, but yeah, but I like it. Okay, all right, all right, very good, very good. Has anyone tried color pupusas? Color pupusas, like colors, like purple, black. I think I've seen it on TV, right? Where they have one person was making different colors of pupusas. Okay, there Flor. A, there was a place right here in Acajutla that they used to sell. Um, Chocolate pupusa. Okay, see, chocolate pupusa. I've never tried those, right? Amazing, amazing. Flor, do you want to share something? Yes, the, the chips that taste like pollo campero. Okay, pollo campero chips. All right, that's new, that's new, right? Things like chicken or something, right? <laughs> Spicy chicken. Yes. I, right. I don't like, well, I didn't like it when I taste, but that was like... Okay, that was a while back, right? All right, great. I just want you to start feeling, getting the, the feeling about market and products and how to communicate and how to establish a good vocabulary when we talk about these specific topics. Okay, now, today was relaxed, okay? We did you know, get to know each other, intro about the class, and it was a pleasure to have you here. But tomorrow we are going to continue with the topic and I want to give you a small preview of what we will we, what will we do tomorrow. Let me see. Okay. Now tomorrow we're going to do this brief vocabulary. Right, we're going to continue with the vocabulary and I want you to look at this. This is on page uh, Page, um, which page is this? Page 10 of your module. I hope you have it ready by tomorrow for those of you that don't, because you're going to be writing tomorrow. Okay. If you look at uh, the module, this is page number 10, and there's some blank spaces down here where you're going to write some five sentences. But what I'm going to ask you is to try to give me a brief definition 
about the vocabulary. What is appeal, growth, differentiate, discontinue, withdraw, saturation, feature, buy out, demand, take off. Remember, we're not talking about regular English vocabulary, like, like, like uh, for example, appeal, right? Uh, for those of you that work in, um, in the judicial system, una apelación, no, no. Don't think of it like that. This is business, business vocabulary, okay? Yes, it's the same way you spell it, but it's different terminology, okay? And I will help you with this tomorrow. And for tomorrow, you are going to create your own, your own. Ustedes van a crear su, un producto, a product, and do the graph. This graph right here. This graph right here. Maturity, growth, intro, and decline. And you're going to draw something like this about a product, any product. And that will be for tomorrow. Okay, that, that will be here. And you're going to do it in a team. It's going to be teamwork, okay? Now, try not to miss tomorrow because what comes after this is going to be for Monday, okay? So I don't want you to be a little lost. So try not to miss classes because this is a very specific topic. Okay, very, very technical, very technical. So this is going to be for tomorrow, okay? So thank you for joining today. I'm going to do the, the last attendance. And remember that um, today is Abigail stays for the extra 10 minutes. Okay, real briefly quickly. Abigail? Here. Okay, thank you. Beatriz? Present. All right, thank you. Blanca? Present. Thank you. Brenda Erlinda Sainz? Remember, Si ustedes no entran, I'm going to say in Spanish, si ustedes no entran a la conferencia, yo le voy a poner un cero. Okay? So, Brenda Erlinda Sainz, cero. Carlos José Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Diana. Yesenia Reyes Alas. No entró. Okay, cero. Erwin Alexander Ayala. Present. Thank you. Okay, Flor. Flor? Yes, I'm okay. here. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, Francisco? Yes, teacher, present. Okay, thank you. Freddy? I'm here. Thank you. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Okay, zero. All right. Iris. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. All right, great. Excellent. Um, Jarvin. Present teacher. All right, awesome. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Juan Jose. I'm here. All right, awesome. Great. All right, let me see. Miguel Angel Centeno. Miguel Angel Centeno, okay, zero, zero. Roberto, okay, oh, Fabio. Where are you, Fabio? I'm here. All right, great, excellent. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. Okay, zero. Um, January. I'm here. January. All right. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Great. Okay, class. I see you tomorrow. It was a pleasure having you tonight here, and I hope you be ready for tomorrow. Remember what we will be doing tomorrow. All right. We will continue with Unit One, and have a great night. Except for Abigail. Okay. Only Abigail stays. Everyone else. Good night, and it was a pleasure good having night. you. Today. 
Okay. Thank you, night. teacher. Bye. 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 All right. Great. Right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. See you tomorrow. Same time. It's fun here. Okay. Hello, Abigail. Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay, do you have any questions or you would just like to speak and maybe have a conversation or something? Because you have another one on October 14th, you have another 10 minutes extra. Mm, okay. So, uh, well, I would like to practice the pronunciation of the vocabulary of this lesson. Sure. For example, uh, the different stages. All right, great. No problem. I think I have problems with pronunciation. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's let's work with some of these technical words, right? Now I'm going to ask you something, Abigail. Have you seen this vocabulary before? Have you seen uh, it before? Yes. Okay. I mean, I I think. The meaning, I understand the meaning, but not so specific like okay. the, the, the meaning or the large meaning. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, these are the elements, right? These are the elements of product life cycle, right? Product life cycle. The elements are maturity, maturity, can you say it? Maturity. 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 Like okay. CH. Okay. Matu. 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 Maturity. 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 All right. Now. Maturity. Excellent. Good job, Agriain. And this one. Remember the TH. The tongue to the top. La lengua arriba. Growth. 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 Right. Eso. Growth. Now, growth. 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 Very good. Growth. growth. Decline. Decline. Very good. Very good. Decline. Excellent. Then market. 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 Introduction. Introduction. Very good. So the, the stress is introduction. Yes. Introduct and then you rise, you rise the intonation. Introduction, introduction, introduction. Okay. Introduction. Excellent. Introduction. Very good. Can you repeat them, Abigail? Mat maturity. Esa. Growth. Decline. Market introduction. Excellent. Now, when I when when you do this introduction, I want you to do it a, a little bit more faster. Introduction. 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 Okay, repeat. Market introduction. Market introduction. Yes. Very good, Abigail. Excellent. Great job. That is correct. Very good. Now, what words here uh, you have trouble pronouncing? Um, awareness. Okay, awareness. Aware. Aware. Awareness. 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 Very good. Innovate. Innovators. Innovators. Inno. Inno. Uh -huh. Innovators. Innovator. Innovator. Con la S al final, with the S at the end. Innovators. Yes. Innovators. Very good. Perfect. Innovators, Deep. right? Innovadores. That's what it means. Innovators. Yes. Okay. What Next about? For differentiate. Okay. Differentiate. Differentiate. All right. The, uh, let's go differentiate. slow. Differentiate. 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 Okay. Differentiate. Okay. Now, fast, a little bit more fluently. Differentiate, differentiate. Differentiate. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Now, what is uh, this word? 
stages. Very stages. good. Previous. 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 Very Previous. good. Excellent. That is correct. Let me see. What about this one? Demand. Very good. Demand. This one? Increase. Very good. Register. Register. Mm, the S? It's registers. Registers. Excellent. Registers. Very good. I miss the last. Yes, the S. The S. Letter. The letter S. Remember, there's a D, that is plural, right? Plural. So you have to pronounce the S. Okay. What about this word right here? Efforts. Very good. Efforts. 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 Very good. And this one? Attractive. Very good. Um, what about this one? Producers. Very good. Producers. Excellent. This one? Discontinuing. All right. Discontinuing. In. Okay. Discontinuing. Discontinuing. F. Very good. Excellent. This one? This. Buying out. Very good. Excellent. Now, what about this two words? Market recently. Very good. These two. The model conversation. Model. Yes. Is ah. model or moral? Okay. It's like this model. 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 Model conversation. Very good. Model. 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 Then what about present perfect? That has been introduced. Very good. Very good. And what is the name of this? Product life cycle. Very good. Very good. This? Sales. 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 Very good. Sales. Sales. Time. Very good. Excellent. All right. Very good. Very good. What is, um, let me see, this word right here. I don't know if you can see it. Development. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay, let me see. Okay, Abigail. So we already did the uh, 10 minutes and well, it was good practice and it was a pleasure having you in class, Abigail. Thank you for participating and I hope you continue to grow and learn more, especially when we're talking about the English language. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. I had a nice class. All right. Very good. So be here tomorrow, okay? So we can continue. Yes, of course. All right, See great. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You have a good night. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. It was a pleasure.